<laughs> hey guys, what's going on? I know that some of you guys right now be like, Rick, what's going on? Another video. And yes, I say to you guys, hey, I'm not I'm not gonna continue talking politics here, but I gotta I gotta talk to you guys and I got I gotta raise my I gotta say something about uh about um about this. Are you aware that at 9.23, on the night of July the 9th, the day you were nominated to the Supreme Court by President Trump, Senator Schumer said, 23 minutes after your nomination, I will oppose Judge Kavanaugh's nomination with everything I have. I have a bipartisan, and I hope a bipartisan majority will do the same. The stakes are simply too high for anything less. Well, if you weren't aware of it, you are now. Did you Senator uh, Lindsey Graham um, gave a speech today on these hearings uh, that we have. Did you meet with Senator Dianne Feinstein on August 20th? I did meet with Senator Feinstein. Did you know that her staff had already recommended a lawyer to Dr. Ford? I did not know that. We'll call it on this. I won't even call that a job interview because that right there is not a job interview for... for uh, uh, for the judge He gave a speech and he gave a speech without looking at notes. He gave a speech. He gave a real speech Did you know that her and her staff had this alleg allegations for over 20 days? I did not know that at the time if you wanted an FBI investigation You could have come to us what you want to do is destroy this guy's life Hold this seat open and hope you win in 2020. You've said that he gave a speech uh, based on, on facts, based on what's going on, based on, based on his years and years of experience. Uh, and then it got me, it, it, you know, it truly solidified my intentions and really solidifies what I wanted to, uh, what to tell you from the beginning, guys. Not me. You've got nothing to apologize for. When you see Sotomayor and Kagan, tell them that Lindsay said hello, oh, because I voted for them. I would never do to them what you've done to this guy. This is a witch hunt. Uh, and, and I hope that, that Judge Kavanaugh gets elected, confirmed. And this is the most unethical sham since I've been in politics. And if you really wanted to know the truth, you sure as hell wouldn't have done what you've done to this guy. Are you a gang rapist? No. And he can become our next judge, our next law. I cannot believe, guys, I cannot believe, you know, when, when, I, when I'm watching this, these hearings and I see all the other Democrats. I cannot imagine what you and your family have gone through. Boy, y'all want power. God, I hope you never get it. I hope the American people can see through this sham that you knew about it and you held it. You had no intention of protecting Dr. Ford. None. She's as much of a victim as you are. God, I hate to say it because these have been my friends. But let me tell you, when it comes to this, you're looking for a fair process. You came to the wrong town at the wrong time, my friend. Do you consider this a job interview? It, it, the advice and consent role is like a job. You interview. consider that you've been through a job interview. I've been through a process of advice and consent under the Constitution. Which Would you has, say you've been through hell? I, I've been through uh, hell and then some. This is not a job interview. Yeah. This is hell. See, uh, Senator Graham, speaking from his heart, you know, let me tell you something. 2020 elections just got easier by 100 million votes. This, this, this is going to destroy the ability of good people to come forward because of this crap. Your high school yearbook. You have interacted with professional women all your life, not one accusation. You're supposed to be Bill Cosby when you're a junior and senior in high school. And all of a sudden you got over it. It's been my understanding that if you drug women and rape them for two years in high school, you probably don't stop. Here's my understanding. If you lived a good life, people would recognize it. 
like the American Bar Association has the gold standard. His integrity is absolutely unquestioned. He is the very circumspect in his personal conduct, harbors no biases or prejudices. He's entirely ethical, is a really decent person. He is warm, friendly, unassuming. He's the nicest person. That statement, that, that speech that he gave, is, is something. It is something, guys. And I just wish that every single one of you get to hear that, okay? Because that way, that way the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole process will make sense to you guys. I can tell you, you should be proud of. Ashley, you should be proud of this. That you raised a daughter who had the good character to pray for Dr. Ford. To my Republican colleagues, if you vote no, you're legitimizing the most despicable thing I have seen in my time in politics. You want this seat? I hope you never get it. I hope you're on the Supreme Court. That's exactly where you should be. And I hope that the American people will see through this charade. And I wish you well, and I intend to vote for you, and I hope everybody who's fair-minded will. What I just witnessed, I think it's one of the best speeches. You know, when you get to do a kind of, some kind of speech like that, I'm sorry, I think I speak all over you. When can you do a speech like that in, in, in that, in, in that? It's, it was amazing, guys. It was amazing. Anyway, guys, subscribe to the channel. I have to go. Uh, I, you know, I have to go. Have, have a good day. Have a blessed day, guys.